always want to measure if possible just from one end right to the other so in theory now this isn't what's going to happen in real life because we have another wall sitting here but we're going to have well I'll draw it out for you here is a stud here and then what I call an L so I'm going to put a 2x4 beside it so that the wall running this way has something to nail into and we have backing for drywall for later so I'm going to go one two three and a half and I'm just going to put an L there that just to remind myself but in theory if we start with our drywall right flush to the end here we want to land 16 inch on center right so there's 16 center but we don't want to mark the center we want to mark the edge of the stud a stud is inch and a half thick so half of inch and a half is three quarters so we move back three quarter which is 15 and a quarter and we put an X there so that 16 is on center now I'm going to transfer those lines later so at this point in time I'm just pulling from the very end so I always have to minus that three quarter inch so 47 and a quarter so that let's say I put a four foot sheet on four foot lands in the center so I'll just lay this out To do this I'm gonna do it this way so 160 you can make it so that a stud lands three quarters on this side of the wall and three quarters on the other but I'm not gonna do that today I just don't it's easier just for me to frame these walls separate I'm just gonna put a stud so I'm gonna put a stud full stud here and here here and here and then I'm gonna mark one more Now let's say, okay, let's say my, I ran out of tape measure and I have to start pulling again. Is I put a nail in there. Now I put a nail on the right, on this side of my mark so that I'm basically my pulling from the actual mark. Now this tape, I like to just tuck it around the nail a bit. Now this is where this is where you can get confused and mess up a layout. I've seen carpenters do it. I've seen people, lots of people do it. We've changed it now. So now it's 16 inch on center, but 16 inch on center also means 16 inch from the, let's say the left side to the left side or 16 inches from the right side to the right side of a stud. And I'll show you I'll show you how to what I mean. I'll try to describe it a bit better. But let's say I'm just gonna mark this an inch and a half to show you the whole two by four. And then but what I'm getting at is now that we're pulling from the left side of this, we're going from 16 inches from left to left. So mark it there. And I'll show you why. Because Center, if let's just align that up roughly on center, 16 inch is from center of this spot to the center of this spot here. So you just got to keep in mind that if you're whatever, wherever you're pulling from on your stud, see, and I almost forgot. Now I'm just going to mark the 80 inch stud on the right because I'm, and same with the 8 foot. Same with the 112. Now I'll just transfer my lines. I'll build two L's. So, because I have a wall intersecting on this far end of the building and on the other far end. 